high drive to right. Takes a three. Touchdown, 49ers. Curry! Hey, everybody, Mr. T here with your weekly beer review. And before we get started, yes, it is a Buffalo Sabres hat. And you're thinking, what? Look, it fits. I liked it. I can't tell you any more than that. Am I a Sabres fan? No. Although, Alexander McGillney was pretty badass, I'll tell you that. All right, let's get to the beer. This beer has a story to it, and it, I find it interesting. Hopefully, you'll find it interesting as well. I went uh, an Imperial IPA. I went Denogonizer from Drake's. And this is kind of where it, well, let me get a drink real quick. Mmm, that's delicious. As delicious as it, was, as it was a decade ago. Now, the story behind Drake's is this. This is kind of where it all started for me with craft beer. Sure, there was Anchor Steam and Sierra Nevada, and those were like two of the really, like, early craft beers we thought wow these are great and it's something different so where did it start with drake's and i'll get to the name denogonizer in a minute which is one of the kick-ass names in all of beer by the way it's just a made-up word that's killer so my kids grew up in alameda we moved there 20 years ago and did the whole little league and soccer and all that stuff and one of my son weston's friends kyle rogers dad coached the team his name's pete pete and i became very good friends why does this matter because Pete and his family were the second owners of Drake's. They owned San Francisco Bay Coffee Company, still do. And they decided, you know what? We love beer. We just want to be able to drink beer whenever we want and get great craft beer. So they bought Drake's Brewing Company. Now, where do I come in on this? Well, you know, I love my beer. I went over to his house one day, and guess what I saw? Oh, the kegerator. That was my first introduction to a kegerator in the garage. I go, this is unbelievable. What is, what is this? I gotta have one of these. You go out to the garage, pour yourself a beer. He had the double too, so he had like uh, the 1500 on tap and the IPA on tap, and I'd go over there all the time. I'd just go knock on the door at like 10. Hey, I'm coming in. I'm gonna grab a beer. He was always up for it too. Come on in, play some video games, go drink some beer. So I decided I gotta get myself a keg grater. So I got myself a keg grater, and the reason I did, well, I knew Pete, and I could get Drake's whenever I wanted to. Whenever I wanted to grab a keg, I'd roll over the Drake's, grab a keg, bring it home, hook it up, and I was ready to go. And I thought, wow, and this is not only great, I'm getting free beer whenever I want it. It was awesome beer. That was like my first introduction to IPAs. Uh, their 1500 is fantastic. They had a beer, Zatac, that it goes way back. I don't even know if they make that one anymore. So we were sitting around one night, and he goes, you gotta try this beer. And I go, what is it? And he goes, it's an Imperial IPA, like a double IPA. And I go, wow, this is like nice. This is nice. It's like 9.7. I go, wow, this is strong. He goes, well, that's how I came up with the name Denogonizer. And when you think about it, you're like, well, that's just, that didn't make any sense, does it? Well, D, you know, kind of remove noggin as in your head. Nizer, I don't know where that came from, but it's brilliant. Basically, what they're trying to say is if you drink too many of this, it's going to knock your head off. That's what it's going to do because it is strong and it is tasty. Unfortunately for me, a couple years ago, San Francisco Bay Coffee Company moved from San Leandro out to Sacramento and they sold Drake's. I think it was to Triple Rock. I'm not sure about that, but they sold it. So my free beer supply, unfortunately, is gone. But I fondly remember the days of rolling over there with Pete, going in the freezer or the refrigerator and looking around saying, I'll take that one. Rolling the keg out to the car, picking it up, taking it home, and boom. That was what my kegerator lived on for a couple years. I've diversified a little bit now, but the Nogganizer will always be, and Drake's will always be, one of my favorite breweries and have a special place in my heart. Cheers, everybody. Ah.